Elon Musk isn't afraid to invest big in the most cutting edge technologies for Tesla's factories, but only under one condition. They must be genuinely useful. And according to Musk, the Gigapress is the most useful piece of equipment he's ever introduced to Tesla, even though it's very expensive. A large part of Tesla's current success can be credited to this incredible machine. It's the game-changing tech that lets Tesla build a car in seconds. But that's just with the 6,000 ton and 9,000 ton versions. The upcoming 50,000 ton Gigapress will be even more shocking. The ability to make up to 12 vehicles in just one minute. Elon Musk has already confirmed this and says the next generation of cars will go through this machine in a way so fast in advance that no human will be allowed near it. So how exactly can the Gigapress create 12 cars per minute? Is this the answer to future vehicle production? Let's dive into this fascinating story. You may not realize it, but the story of how Elon Musk brought the Gigapress to Tesla is pretty thrilling. Getting this machine into Tesla wasn't easy. Based on what's been revealed, the idea started. With a moment of inspiration, Musk was once holding a small die-cast toy car at his desk and asked himself, why can't we make real cars the same way? He figured out that casting large sections, like the full underbody of the Model Y, could drastically cut down weight, cost, and time needed to assemble cars at that time. Tesla was under a lot of pressure to increase production of the popular. Model Y the company had to find more cost-effective ways to keep up. The Gigapress seemed like the perfect answer because it could lower the cost of making a car frame by anywhere between 20% to 40%. But there was a major problem. No one had ever built a die-casting machine that big for cars before. In most die-casting, companies didn't believe it could be done. The standard method in the auto industry back then was to use steel, stamping, and robot welding to create a car's body. That method required hundreds of parts and complicated steps. So, when Musk reached out to six top die-casting suppliers, five of them turned him down. They said the idea was too wild and would never work. Just when it seemed like a dead end, one company, Idra, from Italy, said maybe, that maybe meant everything to Musk. Tesla immediately started working closely with Idra, and they spent over a year developing the first Gigapress. It wasn't smooth sailing. Tesla kept asking for design changes, which forced Idra's engineers to keep revising the machine again and again to meet new demands. A representative from Idra said that Tesla's constant updates were extremely challenging, but in the end, they succeeded. Tesla began with the 6,000-ton Gigapress to cast the rear section of the Model Y later. A 9,000-ton version was created specifically for the Cybertruck. Now, Elon Musk is moving forward with the massive 50,000-ton Gigapress to make the frame of the upcoming Cybercab and the budget-friendly Model 2 compared to earlier versions. The 50,000-ton Gigapress is much more efficient. It can make several frames at the same time and cuts the casting time from 70 seconds to just 5 seconds. Sounds unbelievable, right? But Musk has confirmed this. He even said that the time to make a car might drop to under 5 seconds. Imagine. A vehicle rolling off the production line in less time than it takes to tie your shoes. That's insanely fast. And to make that happen, Tesla is planning to build even bigger casting machines in the future. So, just how big is the 50,000 ton? Machine? And how long does it take to install? How is it different from the previous Gigapresses? How can it produce one Cybercab every 5 seconds, or 12 vehicles every minute? One thing many people misunderstand is that the 50,000 tons doesn't refer to the machine's weight. It actually refers to the pressure it applies during casting. Still, this machine is massive. Its weight could go over 3,000 tons or more than 6.6 .6 million pounds. To give you an idea, the 6,000 ton version weighs about 430 tons, 948,000 pounds, and the 9,000 ton version weighs around 688 tons, 1.52 million pounds. So this new one could be over 8 million pounds a real giant. The pressure it can apply is about 8.3 times. More than the 6,000 ton model and 5.5 times more than the 9,000 ton model. So, setting it up can take several months, in terms of dimensions. The 50,000-ton Gigapress measures around 131 feet long, 42 feet wide, 
and 39 feet tall, about the size of a four-story building laid flat. Because of this, Tesla had to create a custom facility just to house it, complete with a thick concrete base several meters deep to hold the machine's incredible weight. To understand how the GigaPress works, think of it like this. The machine uses extremely high pressure to push molten aluminum into every tiny space in a mold, making sure the final part has no flaws. After that, the part is evenly cooled and the metal hardens into shape. But this needs to be done with perfect timing. If it happens too fast, air bubbles may form, too slow, and the aluminum starts to cool before the mold is completely filled. The cooling is handled by a special system that keeps the temperature consistent, which helps the final part be strong and accurate. After the part is formed, a robot pulls it out, trims off extra material, and sends it for inspection. The GigaPress reduces vehicle weight, increases strength, and improves performance by casting one large section instead of welding together many small parts. This saves both time and labor. These days, multiple car makers are using similar technologies. Companies like GM, Hyundai, Volvo, Zeker, and XPNA are also working on giga casting. XPN even invested in a 16,000 ton machine. But Tesla is still leading the way. Even though the process in the 50,000 ton machine is similar to the smaller models, the scale and speed are completely next level. It starts with melting down fresh aluminum along with leftover scrap in a gas powered furnace heated to 850 degrees Celsius. The molten aluminum is then transferred to a second furnace, which uses electric heat to keep the temperature steady between 750 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius this second furnace is filled with nitrogen to prevent oxidation. Additional systems, like a rotary degasser and special filters, remove tiny particles from the metal before it's used. Then, the mold gets prepared. Before each cycle, a robot sprays about 35 milliliters of soybean oil onto the mold, which makes it easier to release the part afterward, like greasing a baking pan. A vacuum removes air and then molten aluminum is injected into the mold using a high-speed piston that's also lubricated before each cycle. Once the aluminum is inside the mold, it sits until it hardens. Then it's removed while still at around 400 degrees Celsius and quickly cooled down to 50 degrees Celsius in a bath. This fast cooling helps improve material strength. The mold is then cleaned and cooled to around 185 degrees Celsius, ready for the next round. A new casting cycle can start within one to two minutes. Leftover metal is trimmed and recycled, and the finished part is x-rayed to check for defects. A major challenge is keeping the mold from opening due to the immense pressure. That's why the GigaPress applies a massive clamping force. And with the 